Well, some of you guys are traveling a long ways to go to a car show or to an event, and um, sometimes you got to stop to get something to eat. Um, and the bummer is, there's just you know, there's not very many cars that people can steal very easily. Any with the new cars today, having those chips in them, you know, in the in the key, is a little harder to steal. Um, so a lot of guys are going after classics. So I'm going to help you guys a little bit uh, figure out ways to not have your car get stolen. And I'm going to talk about some of the things that don't work, like the club. That's really like useless completely. It doesn't work at all. But um, I'm going to talk to you guys about stuff that does prevent it. There's no 100% way to do it. Um, if somebody wants your car, they're going to take it. I mean, some guys just, they have tow trucks and they just take your stuff with that. So anyway... Let's go on with a few things. Um, one of the things you can do is if you've got... I thought this one didn't hit. Um, if you have a uh, a deck lid lock. Let me show you the other car. Like this car has a deck lid push button lock on it. And you can get a key made for that. And uh, when you stop, you, all you have to do is re remove something vital... Well, your coil wire, your distributor rotor, um, there's a lot of things you can do in there. You get creative. Um, um, sometimes a guy, you know, they'll say, well, they'll have a coil wire in their pocket. You know, that's, nah, maybe, but they might also have a distributor rotor for a 009, which this one has, so really common one. But some of the old big distributors, for sure, if you just took your your old rotor out, you'd be pretty, be pretty safe. And then, just simply... Shut your deck lid and lock it. Well, that prevents them from being able to at least uh, get the engine running easily. And it'll slow them down enough to where maybe they won't steal it. Um, the other things that are out is, and the best thing that I saw, if you're going to be overnight somewhere, um, they have something called a pedal lock. And what it does is it goes behind your pedals here. Um, they have these on Amazon. And it goes behind your pedals and it has a strap that goes across and a little bar that comes out. And it makes it so you're, you can't push the brake or the clutch pedal. So what that does is you want the one with the brake and the clutch pedal. Because if they just had the brake pedal, they could probably um, bump start your car with by pushing it. You know, I mean, you have to know how people steal them. Let me talk about that for a second. I'm going to go over too again about the club and why it doesn't work and some of those other things. But the easiest way back in the old days is guys would steal to steal a VW was actually just to take your your uh, wire out of your they just unhook this wire right here from your license plate light, hook it to your distributor, uh, the positive side, uh, hop in the car. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Put it, you know, put it, give it a little push, give it, give it some roll, throw it in second, you're gone. Seconds. No tools. So, I mean, you have to know some of the reasons. The way I come up with a lot of the stuff is because I know how they've done it before. Um, you know, over the years, I've heard of all the stories. So, but these pedal locks... They go behind here, lock your pedal so that they can't push your pedal shut. Now, the thing is, somebody could cut through that with a cutoff wheel in second. You know, it wouldn't take them too long, but it would take a little more time. And it's really an area that it's uncomfortable to be down in. Um, when you're, if you were stealing a car, you'd have to almost have the door open like this to be able to get down there and play around with those pedals. But the one that does the clutch and the brake, because if they just locked the if you just lock the brake pedal and uh and and they and they could just drive with the emergency brake i mean so people will do that in a vw no problem you know they can do that it's a light enough car it'll still stop just fine with the e-brake um so you have to think about that so that would at least slow them down there the other thing that you can do is you can get a boot clamp for the wheel now People think that that's a fail-safe way to lock their car. 
and it's going to work no matter what. Um, and that's not really true. These guys that steal things, they don't give a rip. You know, if you've got a big enough motor, um, all they do is just gas it, and the thing just breaks. Those wheel locks into the clamp on the wheel. They clamp from here to here. I'll show you a picture real quick. So here's a picture of the e-brake or the brake pedal unit. It's called Motor Hot New Discover. Okay. Anti theft. Now, I don't know how it works well. I'm just going to get one to see. And here's what I'm talking about about the wheel lock. You can get one like this, or if you really want to get crazy, you can get one like this. Like if you were going to stay overnight, um, something a little more elaborate, maybe it wouldn't break as easily. Um, because these ones here, um, if somebody wants it, all they got to do is just jump in. And just they don't care if they wreck your fender they're just gonna drive it away and let the thing make a whole bunch of noise until it blows apart so here's a couple of reasons why the club and the club thing that goes from the brake pedal to the steering wheel the hooks on the steering wheel and the hooks on down there they don't work and they don't work at all I mean you can you can break the thing in less than a minute um, is because Basically, there's a you can cut through the the steering wheel locks with bolt cutters. I mean, or you could use a cutoff wheel. The same thing you can use for the one that goes to the floor. Plus, the guys don't even care. They'll just cut right through the steering wheel. It's a lot easier to cut through that than it is to cut through even anything else. You can take bolt cutters or a hacksaw and cut through your steering wheel in seconds and just unhook the thing. Car's gone. It doesn't even doesn't even make any noise. So for you T-handle guys, they have, Wolfsburg West has locking T-handles if you're interested in that. Um, pretty inexpensive uh, and a good way to go. That way you can disable something under the hood. Like if you're going to stay in a hotel or a motel somewhere, might want to consider some of these things. All someone needs is one of these. Cordless cutoff wheel. Go right through that uh, those steering wheel locks in seconds, or if they use a, a, a bolt cutters, either way, they'll be in your car so fast, and then they can hot wire it in a couple minutes, and it's gone. It's not like new cars where they have chip keys and computers and all that other stuff. It's a little tougher to steal a new car and steering wheel locks and things like that. Um, your old car is really vulnerable, um, so. I want to do some things to protect yourself. Um, some of the things I've seen, I've heard about from guys at shows um, is they got followed home or whatever, and they were on their way, and they stopped at 7-Eleven to get a soda, in, in, and their car was on a trailer, and it was gone. You know, that's how fast it can happen. Um, so every time I stop to get something to eat, I disable something. Um, so... You know, it's it's a good idea to do that and have one of those pedal locks. If it works on the bus, I'm going to find out. I don't know if it does, um, but I'm going to check that out and see if it does. Uh, it might be kind of unique to use on the bus. Um, you know, if I'm going to have to do a motel or two when I go on the road, I want to make sure that um, I've done as much as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to stop them all together, just have good insurance. But, you know, I mean, how are you going to replace something like that? You can't. So, um, but that's how the thieves can, are able to do this stuff. And, uh, you know, you really need to protect yourself against those guys. Um, and you're only going to slow them down, you know, but people say, well, the club slows them down. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even give them, it's like two seconds. You know, I mean, I watch some of the videos on that stuff on YouTube, on the club, how it doesn't work. And you'll see, oh my God, it's not even worth doing. Um, but uh, the one for the brake lock is probably the best one that I've seen because it's it puts them in a vulnerable position being down, bent down to try and cut through it. And it's really hard down there trying to cut through something without the door open. And they don't like to do that. So they'll look for another car that's easier. So anyway, just a couple pointers for you guys uh, to help you guys keep your cars from getting stolen on the road, uh, going to shows and stuff like that, or just going different places, especially you guys who are daily drivers. My God, I would definitely have one of those 
pedal locks for the for the for the daily driver and I would put a, a boot on the wheel because the boot on the wheel stops them from towing it easily okay it stops the guy from just using a tow truck because they do that they'll 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 use it get a tow truck and just steal with it and um, you know it'll stop them from from or, or a flatbed because they can't roll it okay and then uh, the pedal locks stop them from being able to really drive the car um, if you can't shift you can't drive it you can't you can't bump start it you can't you know uh, you'd have to hot wire the engine get it going and then kind of push it forward or something get it in gear and it can you know do a you'd be really good at uh, you know shifting without using the clutch you know it'd be really hard so it's going to prevent you know a lot more theft than most of the things that I've seen and alarms they don't do shit you know alarm just makes a noise and they can disable that very quickly. These guys do, you know, they, there's, there's no way you can protect yourself really very well with an alarm and it's just irritating as hell. So what if you have those things on your car, at least to slow them down a little bit, you know, um, lessen your chances a bit. Um, they'll still steal stuff off the car maybe, but, um, just getting the whole car at once easily is going to make them a little harder. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe.